Hello everyone, today I am going to create this sliding wooden wall in Revit. This wooden wall is parametric, you can change its height and you can also change its uh, position and you can also increase the number of components and hence change the uh, change its width. As you can see the in the video that by adding these uh, values in the parameters of movement of the walls, of back wall and the front wall you can uh, change you can uh, slide these walls according to your own choice but before we start let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime so now let's start with the tutorial Open a new family template file of generic model. Go to the front elevation and add a horizontal reference plane here. Place this dimension between these two reference planes and add the parameter of height of the wall. Uh, let's suppose we add the value of 8 feet for this parameter. Then add uh, two uh, four vertical reference planes two on either side now place some dimensions between these reference planes as shown and then assign parameters for uh, these dimensions these parameters will help in the movement of the wooden walls make, hence making it a sliding wall so add these parameters and we, we will see how it will work out in the upcoming part now select extrusion in the create tab and draw a rectangle with this reference plane then add this height parameter dimension and give it the parameter of height of wall give this the width of 2 inches and an extrusion and value of 2 inches click ok and then select it and assign a material parameter to it After assigning the material, select this component and select the array command and add the second component at a distance of 4 inches and give the total number of value of let's suppose 10. Then log this uh, dimension of at 2 inches and align the reference plane with the first component and lock it down. Now when you change the value of movement of back wall the all of these components will move along with it you can also assign parameter to the number of these components the the array to the uh, parameter assign parameter to the array command and from here you can change the values to increase and decrease the number of components ignore this error and by changing these numbers you can hence change the width of the wall now repeat this exact same process for this other side first of all create the uh, Create the rectangle, assign this height parameter and then give it a width of 2 inches and an extrusion and value of 2 inches. Assign material parameter to this. After that, align 
this uh, align the reference plane to this component and lock it down then use the array command and place the selling kit component at four inches and then add the values and assign this array parameter the number of components ignore the error and again you can see that you can change the number of components you can uh, increase or decrease the height of wall and you can slide these walls according to your own choice but make sure that you lock this dimension to always keep the distance between them at two inches Now again select extrusion, draw a rectangle at here and assign the height parameter to this extrusion and then give it a width of 2 inches and an extrusion start value of 2 inches and an extrusion end value of 4 inches. So if you go to the floor plan uh, reference level floor plan, you can see that it is extruded two inches after moving two inches from the reference plane. Again, select the array command, move it four inches, place the second component at four inches, and then give the give this number of components this parameter and uh, log these. Uh, dimension at 2 inches and I have forgotten to add the material so now you can also add the material later on don't forget to align and lock the first component with the reference plane now I'm going to repeat this exact same process to create an other section of this wall at here The design of the wall is now complete and it looks like this and from this dialog box you can change the height of the wall and you can also slide it according to the according to your own choices and you can also increase or decrease the number of components and hence adjust the width of the wall. That's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.